Well, I wonder what I'm photographing today. <laughs> so, hang on. So, is that paraglider? I think that's the technical phrase. Paraglider, being buzzed a little bit by a paraglider. Um, so I'm down at a local lighthouse. It's called um, Perch Rock or Fort Perch Rock Lighthouse. Some people refer to it as New Brighton Lighthouse because it's um, in New Brighton on the Wirral, so right on the coast. Um, and just to give you an idea where I am, uh, the paraglider, those buildings over there, that's Liverpool city centre. Uh, and there's Liverpool docks. So this is the, the River Mersey. And if you do a bit of Google mapping, uh, that's called Fort Perch Rock. It was built uh, during the Napoleonic Wars, I think, to guard the mouth of the Mersey. But the lighthouse is my objective for today. Um, it's about almost two hours after high tide, so the tide's on its way out. It's about another half an hour-ish till sunset. Um, so I'm waiting for the tide to creep out a little bit, uh, and then I'm gonna look for a, a composition that uh, allows me to make the most of the lighthouse and uh, kind of the sun going down on the horizon at the same time. Uh, beautiful, beautiful weather. Uh, absolutely been clear skies all day, 27, 28 degrees. Um, but there's a little few wisps of cloud on the horizon, which might be quite nice. Uh, and now I'm being buzzed by a drone, gosh. They're all after me, drones, paragliders. Um, so it's gonna wait a few more minutes and then um, look for a proper composition. So we're almost there. Beautiful, beautiful golden glow. Um, in fact, <laughs> I just took a photograph and, and put it on my Instagram feed, uh, uh, kind of a selfie, because uh, the glow was so nice. So, a bit vain, I know. Um, so, almost there. Just thought I'd talk you through the setup before we get kind of the kind of moment of, of kind of the actual sunset. Um, so, I'm using my uh, 70, 17 to 40 lens, which is kind of a standard lens for. Uh, landscape. Uh, I've pre-focused um, using hyperfocal calculation so check out if you, if you don't know what hyperfocal distance is check out my video I'll put a link in um, up there and uh, uh, I'm on f11 um, and sorry I'll just check what f11 is giving me at the moment so it's giving me a 20th of a second exposure um, I've got a uh, soft grad filter in um, because you can appreciate the foreground here is quite a lot darker than the sky. As the sun goes down, I might put a lighter uh, filter in because I'm using kind of quite a heavy one at the, at the moment. Uh, put a bit of a lighter one in because um, obviously once the sun's gone down, the light contrast won't be quite so harsh. Um, so I'm all, re all ready to go. Um, I have been staring at the sun a bit too much, so my eyes have gone a bit funny. Um, but I'm, wait, I'm just waiting for that moment when the sun hits the horizon. There's a nice bit of uh, kind of wispy cloud in the sky, which is reflecting the sun nicely. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when the sun goes down over the horizon, we get a bit of a pinkish tinge on those, um, on those clouds behind the lighthouse, and um, that'll be a result. Um, so, <laughs> oh, I've got, I've got all kind of lights in front of my eyes from uh, staring at the sun a bit too much, so. Um, Another couple of minutes. I'm not going to look at the sun again. I keep doing. I can't help it. I keep looking at the sun. I can't help it. Um, another couple of minutes, and uh, we'll be in business. There goes a ferry off to Ireland. I think. Um, wish I was on it. I love go, I love travelling by ferry. Uh, but anyway, um, just thought I'd show you kind of the, the kind of the, the moment. Um, the sun is now just touching the horizon. So um, taking a couple of shots with kind of the, the same composition. I do like the way this water is just flowing uh, through the image to this rock. So, taking a couple of images, um, you might have heard or seen that I'm um, uh, I'm bracketing I've bracketed that exposure just to try and um, make sure I get the full range of uh, kind of uh, the full dynamic range in, in the image, and then I can um, uh, using Lightroom bring those three images together to create a uh, kind of a naturally fully exposed, properly exposed image. Um, so the sun, I won't show on the back of the camera because it, it, um, it's too hard to see, but the sun is just now clipping 
kind of the edge of the lighthouse and the horizon. So my calculations was a little bit off because I thought it was going to be right down uh, kind of in, in the middle of the tube. But actually, I quite like it. Um, I like the fact that there's a nice... Oh, sorry. I, I don't know why I turned around to look at me. <laughs> I like the fact that that cloud um, running across the top of the lighthouse is, is nicely illuminated. And, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with the, the composition. Um, I'm going to take a... The, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with that composition. Um, obviously, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. But now what I'm going to do um, is just wait another few minutes until the sun's got completely gone down and hopefully there's a bit of a kind of glow up into those clouds. Uh, and I might watch that uh, ferry sail off into the distance. Sun is well and truly down and there's that lovely golden, orange, peach. Well, it's a, it's a gradation, is that, is that the right word? Gradation of kind of starts with a kind of orange on the horizon and then pink up to quite light golden on the uh, on the clouds and the ferry sailing off into the sunset quite romantic isn't it so spin you around and uh, show you how it's going um, so I, I can't I can't remember if I mentioned earlier um, I've got my polarizer on so I'm, I mentioned the filter but I've got a polarizer on just to darken some of the blue um, in the uh, in the sky but more for the um, uh, reflection on the water here in the, in the foreground just to take the um, the reflection off so uh, I'll go really bright so you can see the composition because um, I've got this rock here got lighthouse here and there's a guy here taking photos who said he's seen my YouTube so hello guy who's watched me on YouTube uh, didn't didn't catch his name um, but uh, as you can guess, um, because it's gone now relatively dark, um, the shutter speed is, is a lot slower. It's down to a, a quarter of a second. Um, so it's a lot slower. Um, but the sun is right behind, or, or set right behind the lighthouse. I actually thought it was going to set a bit further to the, to the left. It's right behind the lighthouse, which means there's a nice glow surrounding the lighthouse so I'm pretty pleased with that um, so I've probably got a opportunity to take a couple more I'm not what I'm not waiting for now sorry I keep turning you around don't I um, what I'm waiting for is just to see if those clouds that are touching the top of the lighthouse go a darker and a red or or amber color because that'd be quite nice um, and there's a lifeboat going up the, the Mersey so making quite a bit of noise um, but yeah it's all go here I've come for a I've moved maybe 100 yards um, for a slightly different image. Uh, spotted this um, bit of a rock pool and uh, it's a lovely reflection um, with the clouds in the background. So I'll, I'm sinking into the mud a little bit, uh, but I'll take you. So I'm hoping this t turns out quite nicely. Um, you know, what I said, I, I, if, if you watch one of my previous films uh, from the Lake District, I said something about not having um, Kind of the subject right slap bang in the middle we'll forget that for this one <laughs> um, because i've gone with the lighthouse slap bang in the middle for the purpose of, of the reflection um, and uh, the horizon is slap bang in the middle well so i'm breaking all the rules of photography all the rules of thirds uh, horizons right in the middle and lighthouse right in the middle um, but rules are there to be broken and i actually think it works quite nicely um, I think that's quite a nice um, composition. It's it's a it's 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 nice symmetry. Um, so hopefully it works, uh, and uh, hopefully hopefully people like that. Um, I, I quite like it. Obviously, got to see what it's like in the processing. Um, I was thinking of moving um, just a little bit. So I'll show you on the GoPro. I'm not going to move the camera, uh, but I am thinking. I was trying to take it from here, so I'm going to, but because I thought of the nice foreground interest, um, but it breaks up the reflection too much. Um, if there was one rock off to the side, I think it'd be all right. But because there's a few, it breaks up the reflection too much. And the thing here is it's all about the reflection. So I've, I've just moved a little bit, one, two, kind of three steps to the right, and you get a much nicer 
kind of reflection. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm just going to go, well, if, if I can get through the mud, I'm just going to go over there and try for one last image. Uh, and then I think that'll be it. Yes, <laughs> says the gull. So I moved from there <laughs> to, to here. Um, so 20 feet, but I'm a lot closer to the lighthouse. Um, and the lights come on, not the, the lighthouse light, but there's kind of the down lights uh, illuminating the building. Um, but uh, I've gone, <laughs> hopefully you can see that. Um, I'll just brighten up. I've gone for quite a close up on the lighthouse. So the lighthouse is taking up quite a bit of the, um, the frame. And I've just done the exposing quite a lot um, because it's bringing out the colour in those clouds. So those clouds are a pretty orange um, at the moment. So I'm, I'm, it's more or less a silhouette of the uh, uh, of the lighthouse. Um, th there'll be absolutely no detail in, in the lighthouse, uh, but that's not the point. Um, I I'm trying to get the uh, attention onto um, the clouds in the background. It's, it's just fortunate those clouds are there. If it was just a, um, uh, a clear sky, I probably would have gone by now um, because there wouldn't be any uh, interest in the sky. So as it is, I think that's probably my last photograph. Um, but yeah, pretty, ha pretty happy. Um, it's absolutely glorious day. Yeah, it's Father's Day today, so I've had a nice day. Thanks, kids. And um, uh, just nice to come down and get a few images. Uh, I've photographed this lighthouse quite a lot in all sorts of different weather conditions. But it's nice to come when it's really still um, and we get this uh, lovely sunset. Um, so I might give it another few minutes, um, but uh, uh, probably done. All done. Um, yeah, quite pleased. 10 o'clock at night, still quite bright. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the 18th of June today so only a couple more days until summer solstice and then kind of the, the sunset starts getting earlier so uh, won't have to stay out so late and get, or get up so early for sunrise um, but hope you've in, enjoyed that this is really local on my patch someone uh, quite a long time ago sorry I can't remember uh, it was a couple of months ago asked me about uh, photographing uh, New Brighton um, lighthouse or Fort Perch Rock lighthouse so hope if you watch hope you've in, in, enjoyed that um, do, if you didn't understand anything or if you enjoyed it or any comments stick them in below I reply to every single comment um, and I'll, I'll continue to do that because I really enjoy having that interaction and uh, thanks for all the kind of really positive things people have been saying um, and and just finally a, a request um, someone actually more than one person quite a few people have asked if I do some post-processing videos uh, to show how I kind of process the images in Lightroom. I'm really, really happy to do that, but I don't know how to record them. <laughs> so I, I know there's software you can get to kind of record um, kind of your, your computer screen, but I've no idea which ones are any good or anything like that. So if anybody's got any experience of recording their screens and then putting them onto YouTube, can you let me know can, in the comments below? Can you recommend stuff? Um, uh, preferably free, because I'd rather not spend more money. <laughs> Um, but if anyone knows any good software that allows me to record stuff um, in Lightroom and then put it up onto YouTube, we're really grateful. So uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.